by a Christmas tree this week, you'll probably want to bundle up. We're looking over northeast Tallahassee as the sun sets. Very, very pretty sky, but we've got some chilly temperatures that are heading our way. First alert meteorologist Alexa Trisser joins us now. Alexa, just how cold is it going to get? Well, I'll say those cold temperatures are going to put us in the Christmas spirit because we're talking 30s as we head into tomorrow morning. Good news is we'll start to warm up a bit as we head into Thanksgiving on Thursday, but that cold front that is passing through right now is going to do wonders. It's going to take away the clouds and the moisture. First alert, tighten radar, nice and dry. We're going to stay dry for the very foreseeable future, but those temperatures are no joke. Upper 30s for much of South Georgia and the Big Bend heading into tomorrow morning. Along the coast, we're talking low 40s, but it's really going to be a very crisp and brisk day overall tomorrow because it is breezy now and it will continue to be a little breezy tomorrow to start the day, which means it will make it feel a little bit chillier outside than it actually is outside. So winds will be turning out of the northeast as we head in tomorrow afternoon and they will also start to subside. So wind speeds will be calming during the daytime tomorrow. That doesn't really help us during those morning hours because that's when the coldest part of the day is going to be happening and temperatures will be actually feeling like the low to maybe even mid 30s when it's actually reading that it's the upper 30s. So these are our future wind chills going into tomorrow morning. It will feel like 32 degrees in Thomasville, feel like 30 in Moultrie, and it'll feel like 34 in Tallahassee. And guess what? It's not really going to warm up much tomorrow either. Temperatures are only going to be in the 50s and then going into Wednesday morning, it will be even colder. It will feel like the upper 20s. That future wind chill for Wednesday morning 29 for Perry, 30 for Thomasville, 28 in Bainbridge. So the cool weather is actually going to stay with us for the next couple of days. Those high temperatures tomorrow really only topping out in the 50s. Plenty of sunshine, but very stout, cold and dry air on the way from up north that will be followed by high pressure. So we stay nice and dry for the next several days until another cold front works its way in on Friday. That's when we see some moisture trying to work its way back in, but I think we'll stay even rain free beyond Thanksgiving. So nice clear skies tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, a little breezy, maybe a few clouds starting to build in on Wednesday and Thursday, but again, no complaints there because temperatures will be warming up. The Appalachian Bay cast, if you do plan to use your boat, there is a small craft advisory until Tuesday afternoon, so it's a bit unsettled out there. May want to think twice about that as it will be very breezy thanks to that front as we go into tomorrow. Temperatures struggling to hit 60 tomorrow afternoon, mid 60s by Wednesday, hopefully 70 degrees on Thanksgiving Thursday. It'll be perfect if you want to throw the football around outside because it is just going to be delightful. And as we head into Thursday night, it won't be as cold. Temperatures will be in the upper 50s as we head into Friday morning. That's when that very small chance for the next shower to develop. Really not looking at much there, but then we're going to see another cold spell by next weekend with temperatures only in the low 60s.